just gonna jump straight into Caden Live and I'm gonna show you the different parts and what all everything is on the screen because there's a lot to look at. So let's just jump straight into Caden Live. All right, so here I am in Caden Live. Uh, when I first open it up, it opens and it already has some settings for the file type that I might be using. So at the very top left corner, it says 1080p, 29.97 frames per second. Um, when you go and you import video clips, it may actually ask you to change that based on what your video clip format is. So don't worry too much about that right now. You can always change it later on. All right. So the most important things for us are the project bin the project monitor and the timeline. So the timeline's at the bottom of the screen. When you first open a new uh, project in Caden Live, you have two video tracks and two audio tracks. So the tracks are just where you're gonna bring your clips from the project bin down to the timeline. That's where you do all of your editing to the video or audio clips, all your transitions, uh, adjusting sound, adjusting the color, adjusting the light. You do that all down here on the timeline. Now in the project bin on the left hand side, this is where we're going to drag all of our files that we want to use in our video. So to bring clips into Caden Live, you can click on this little, um, almost like a little tiny play symbol. If you hover over it, it says add clip or folder and you can go there and you can go and navigate to find your files that you want to put into Caden Live or I actually open my file system and I can just click and drag any video clip, picture, audio clip, and you can just drag it straight into the project bin and it'll automatically create a link between that file and your project in Caden Live. So the best thing to do when you're making projects in Caden Live is to actually have a folder where all of your clips are going to be and all your pictures and audio for that Caden Live project so that in case you use maybe the same audio clip between different projects, they don't use the same file. So I would make a folder like I've done here. I've made a folder for our final video and these are all my clips. This is where I'm also going to put any of my um, pictures or my music, my background music that I want to use. And then when I open Caden Live, I actually save my project into this folder. So it's all in the same place. If you import something into Caden Live and then you accidentally move it or delete it, Caden Live won't be able to see where it is anymore and it'll break your project. So just make sure that all of your files you're using for that specific uh, video or project are all in the same folder. It just makes it more simple. Okay, so once you bring something into the project bin, it's going to ask you the first time you do, it's trying to adjust to the size of the video clip that you're trying to bring in. So the video clip I brought in isn't actually the same as what the settings are right now. So you can hit continue and it'll update it for you and it'll change those settings. And now I can see those settings on the top left of my screen. So now that I have my clip in, you can see it has a little thumbnail on the left here. You can even rate this clip so you can say whether or not this clip is good so that you know if you actually want to use it or not. And then now in where our project monitor was, we have a project monitor, we also have a clip monitor. So when you've selected a clip, it'll actually let you play that clip and see it before you bring it down onto the timeline. The project monitor is when you actually play through your timeline, so where you've done all your editing to see what your video now looks like. We also have this little box in the middle here. We have library, effect composition, and clip properties. So clip properties just tells you a bit about your clip. And then effect and compositions, this is where all of our, if when we pull it down to our timeline, this is where we're gonna put our different effects to do transitions between clips or to adjust the audio or adjust maybe the brightness of the video. And that's where we put it all into is the effects and compositions for that clip. Okay, so that's pretty much it in Caden Live. There's a lot to see on the screen there, but once you start actually editing and working with your video and audio clips, it gets a little easier. It's just a process and learning new things always takes time. So make sure you stick it out with us, follow along by subscribing below, and we'll see you in our next video where we're gonna introduce what we're making in this series. So see you next time, guys. Bye.